Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment of our show is brought to you by Express Frame. Custom frames for pictures, artwork, prints, shadow boxes for family heirlooms and collectibles. Even if it's just protecting and displaying your sports memorabilia, they do a terrific job of that. Uh, these folks have done work for just about everyone who's ever been on the Sports Source. Uh, everybody's told me they've taken something to Express Frame and everyone's been happy. They do great work. Express Frame, check them out. You know, you knew them as Fast Frame. Same folks, same people, new name. ExpressFrame.net to learn more. All right. I saw an interesting question this week on a website, uh, SaturdayDownSouth.com, and I thought, well, we could twist that because I thought it was kind of, well, I just thought it was interesting. So we'll get your take, and then I'll let you tell me what you think UT fans would do, okay? And this is a college town. Mm -hmm. But if you gave people a choice... You can have college football this year, full season guaranteed, but it means you can't have any other sports. They're all shut down, but you get your college football. Do you think, let's you know, start with that way. Do you think Tennessee fans would say, I'll take college football all over, over all those other sports? Would UT fans be that crazy as to say, give me college <laughs> football crazy. and take everything else? <laughs> Absolutely. I, <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think they'd yeah. go Kramer Cafe Latte. It's a deal. Handshake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That quick. Yeah, I think they would. It, it, it probably wouldn't be 100%, but boy, it'd be high. Yeah. It'd be 90 So if it's, a, if it's just yeah. a majority takes it, you think the majority would give up all other sports? Yes. So 51%. So, yeah, 51% of Tennessee fans would say, I don't need any other sports in my life for a year. Just give me these 12 Saturdays. If they had to pick and choose, I mean, needing, they, I don't think that they would hate to lose those other sports, but they absolutely, it would be much higher than 51%. Well, that's the majority. Okay, well, yeah. let yeah. me ask you, if, and I get that. When I say crazy, that seems crazy to me for anybody to give up all sports for one sport. But, right. you know, what if you could guarantee you had all sports except college football? You just had to give up college football. If I gave up college football this year, I get my NFL, complete NBA, basketball, golf, yeah, Kentucky Derby scheduled this fall. Yeah, I'm giving up college football. If I get everything else for a year, I'm giving up college football. Wait, yeah. so now we're going beyond the yeah. UT, right? We're just yeah. all of yeah. sports. Yeah. What would yeah. you do? But no, no, that's what we're talking about with right. UT. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not saying yeah. give up UT, give up their sports. I mean, UT fans, if right. you get your college football in, you mm -hmm. lose at the expense of NFL, yeah. all other sports. So it's not just giving up UT lacrosse. Right. I'm talking about all sports. If it's all other sports, no. No. You're, you're the biggest fan. Yes. And you wouldn't do it? No. It's no. hard to give up all sports. It's hard to no. give up. I mean, across the board, no. I mean, I, I know what this has been like the last three months. Uh, I'm over it. it yeah, yeah, I'd rather have 12 months of yeah. sports yeah. as opposed to just three months. Sure. Yeah. I would take all sports. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, if you guaranteed all that is in its entirety, yeah, yeah I would take all but the other sports. I, I still think. I know. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. Maybe I'm too deep into the tunnel here. But I, I think, <laughs> I, think if, I think if you pulled UT, yeah. real UT football fans, they'd say, give me my college football season. I'll see you in 12 months with the other sports. But Go then away. I've also seen how many fans have been at Thompson Bowling Arena for basketball games, UT basketball that's games. True. And that's a pretty big experience. It's a season. Yes. Yeah, so that, if you're looking at just what they, will entertain me. You, you got some five stars coming in, so maybe this year <laughs> yeah. you get big time recruits coming Carol, in. <laughs> Carol, I, just saw that, yeah. I just saw that question. I thought that was cool. All right. Yeah. Vince Ferrar, Chuck Cavalleras, Josh Ward, thanks to all these guys. Thanks to you for joining us. Thanks for supporting us through all this. Thanks for supporting our sponsor. We'll see you right back here next Sunday.